Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean. Glad you're here. If it is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Try to get out a few videos every week, uh, whether it's reviews, interviews, stuff I find interesting. Uh, goofy videos, me being a knucklehead or uh, hanging out with my friends. Um, whatever. Uh, I also do the uh, a show every day during the week and Used to do one every weekend. I think I'm, I'm going to be getting back to that um, with uh, my buddy Lee from uh, the Irishman from Kiss Crypto. His link's right over here. And uh, TA with uh, the other Irishman from Mad Crypto. Um, Lee's been kind of locked down. Uh, he was visiting uh, the UK and he's been stuck there in lockdown. So the weekend uh, review show has been a little bit weird. Hard to... Hard to, to Lockdown, but I don't want to say lockdown eight times. Um, but he's heading back home, so hopefully we'll be able to get that every weekend. If not, I'll probably just do it alone. But that's noon on uh, on the weekdays uh, if you're Central U.S. time, or uh, on their channels like Crypto Tea Time because it's like six, I believe, in the evening over in uh, in most parts of Europe. You got different Europe zones time. So check us out daily. It is uh, it's fun. Um, today, however, I wanted to do a review on a project that I think is pretty cool. Um, I think it's very cool. It uh, it's a part of the supply chain that everyone kind of uh, ignores. Um, and see, I, even calling it that is it, it's gonna it, it's gonna create confusion because they don't probably don't even consider themselves that. I do. Um, I think this is a really, really needed project, a really good project. Um, it's something that's really overlooked when it comes to blockchain. And blockchain is set up for this. It's one of the best use cases for it. Um, everyone says it's the best use case for this other part of it. So I'll just stop rambling. I'll actually go on about it. First, it's called Envision. Um, now, you may have heard of Envision. It's it's uh, brand new. They just had their IEO. I think you still get the the uh, tokens from their site as a way to sign up. I'll, I'll hit that. Um, but they may be going on another exchange soon. That's, uh, that's in the cards. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to them. But um, they're trying to set up a, uh, a simple, simpler, cleaner, better future for renewable energy. They want to fund renewable energy pro uh, projects. But one of the big uh, aims they have is to track waste, which this is what I was talking about. Everyone talks about how blockchain is perfect for supply chain and everybody, you know, uses it for supply chain. Governments use it for supply chain. Um, you know, it's tailor-made for supply chain from farm to table, farm to table, you know, uh, factory to, uh, to your house, to, to know where all the steps of that item, that food, that medicine that got to you. And then that's where it usually stops. And that's not really the end of that product's life. So that's not the end of the chain. What everyone forgets about or ignores is the waste part of the chain. After that goes from farm to market to your table, where does the waste go? That's when it ends. And that is where I think the other part of the supply chain is really, really needed um, when it comes to especially the way the earth is, all the stuff with recycling and just, you know, not putting stuff in landfills like we've done for, you know, thousands of years um, is tracking that waste, making sure that it's not put somewhere it's not supposed to be, making sure that it is recycled in the way that it's supposed to. Um, that is the other part of the supply chain that they want to, uh, to get in on, which I think that is what such a great, great idea, such a great aim. Um, because it, it is supply chain. It's just the, the latter part of it, which people don't think about. Um, so they have a token. It's the NVZ and token. The token um, preserves and protects investor, investors and, am, and ambassadors. Basically, they use a token. They're going to use it as a utility token within the ecosystem for uh, funding some of the, the projects that they're doing with the waste management um, and then to uh, support projects for green energy, um, bonding and vetting of projects, investing in projects that have long-term potential in the renewable energy sector, 
um, ensuring their ambassadors and investors with integrity and decentralized compliance uh, and structure. It's an ERC-20 uh, token. It's available, uh, able to do smart contracts, decentralized platforms for tokens and smart contracts, just built on Ethereum. What is the NVZN token? The token is blockchain's ability to give unbreakable life cycle tracking of waste, the waste chain. Um, or the recycle chain, whichever you want to call it, which would be useful when providing an audit and accountability with government regulators and to create a token that is helping solve the energy problem, helping fund green energy products, which is kind of what I said, uh, creating a domino effect of ease for multiple world controversies, such as climate change, systemic activity, etc. cetera. Um, I kind of don't want to keep going over this. Blockchain is public assurance because you can see everything is transparent. Uh, tokens, smart contract, permanent records and tracking. And the smart contracts are able to execute, obviously, you know, for tasks. Financial integrity, funding projects help society. And exclusive currency for transactions. That means that uh, like, like a, a project funded by them would then utilize their token for the ecosystem that they use for whatever they're doing whether it's uh, like green energy um, and then people are able to, to buy and sell their energy to, to each other with a, um, from their wind or their solar and pay for it and earn that token. Yeah, you know, that's just whatever ecosystem that they're in, that whatever they're investing in would then use the uh, exclusive currency for the transactions. Um, the ultimate goal of the NVZN is to bring an all-in-one solution for renewable energy progression while offering a path for people to see the rehabilitation of waste energy sector management together as people on our planet, we can solve the problem before it's too late. Um, they're looking to build a, uh, like a, not like a city, but a, a project like within a city, uh, like a community um, as a test run with uh, some companies that they're partnering with, which look very, 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 very cool. I'll touch that in the, uh, in their their uh, white paper, their 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 deck, um, envision defies the odds because it's defi um, with renewable energy and tracking. So, uh, defi refers to financial services using smart contracts, which are automated to enforce agreements. Yes, we that's what you know defi. Um, not just along the lines of money. Defi is a blockchain decentralized. Ledger recording transmitting transactions without the use of all human interaction. This also uses uh, the Internet of Things. So you're able to use smart contracts, the Internet of Things, um, like with AI and, and basically uh, appliances and everything, everything with IoTS, um, and uh, conducted through the uh, NVZN uh, token. Let me see. I'm gonna go over the tokenomics in another page. Right now it's going for, what is it about? A little bit less than half a cent uh, per token. Um, buddy of mine just got in and got a bunch of this. Uh, Kif's, 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 he's, he bought a pretty good chunk. Um, how to buy their tokens, you can register here or here. They have, uh, the hard cap was 50 million. 5 million was a soft cap, I'm not sure. How much they've sold? Um, I know their 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 total supply is one billion. Um, Sixty percent are distributed to the community. Thirty percent of the treasury, which is to be held for long term. For uh, I'll go over that later. And then ten percent, I think, goes to the team or architecture division. I think that's the team. All right. This, speaking of the team, the team is very is, is good. They have. Links to their link LinkedIn's here. They're uh, they're very transparent. The people they look solid. But anytime uh, that I've noticed, just in the past few years that I've been in in blockchain and crypto, any kind of uh, noble or, or project like this that's has anything to do with with fixing the earth, people are usually very passionate about it, um, and usually the pretty pretty top of their game it's just it seems like the teams are so much better on projects like this and it's this it's the same here um the people are really really uh top notch a very important thing i wanted to go over is that uh they 
were uh, before the United Nations um, envisioned it, and they presented with the CTS, is just who they're partnering with, technologies for their vision of the uh, of their vision, which is that uh, that ecosystem, um, to the UN General Assembly. That's very impressive. It's very cool. Uh, here's links to their their Facebook, Twitter. Twitter's got a lot of followers. They do have a Telegram, Instagram, and the project itself has a uh, LinkedIn that you can check out. Now let's head over to their their uh, white paper or pitch deck. So this basically goes over the supply chain transparency or the waste chain, energy efficiency, recycling incentives, environmental treaties, which is another thing that they could be working with the UN for and helping to uh, create real um, environmental uh, uh, treaties instead of ones that are just fake and on paper and just have a, a a nice name but really don't do anything um, carbon tax calculation that's a big thing when it comes to countries and their uh, their carbon tax and and that that whole thing um, strategic accounting system and audit and accountability for each step of the uh, of the recycling or waste process all right we went over this a million times um, is a project so good it was presented to the United Nations General Assembly. Um, this just talks about the the problems that everyone knows that we have, the lack of recycling in a lot of a lot of huge countries, uh, overfilling of landfills, lack of trust from consumers. I don't think anyone really trusts big companies when it comes to waste. Um, and sudden economic disruption and destruction to our natural world. So six solutions that the N NVZN provides, stable energy, more cost effective economy, the integrity for crypto, uh, accountability on energy and waste management, reduction of toxicity and waste and honest D to society. All right, now this just gives you the steps in what I was saying is the, the waste chain. After the supply chain, then you go to the waste chain, which is the next step. So the waste is thrown in a garbage can. A certificate of origin is created on the blockchain um, and becomes tokenized. That actual trash or bin becomes tokenized. So the garbage trucks are the data with still uh, with data collectors. They pick up the waste with IoT Internet of Things sensors. Um, the waste passes through all the blockchain verifiable quality checks to make sure that it's being disposed of and treated properly. You know. Glass is going to glass, plastic is going to plastic. The waste goes through the CETS proprietary waste energy center and turns into green energy or is recycled. And then the NVZN token gets burned. So it has a, a burn mechanism built in to increase the uh, demand for the, for the token. So the CET, CETS um, is the corporation that, now there's a lot of things I'm gonna go over that's a little scary if you've uh, seen the Terminator movies, but um, but try not to get freaked out. So the focus of the CETS is one of the development of state-of-the-art waste energy facilities. The application of the new zero carbon and renewable operations enhances the energy waste efficiency and gives municipalities or towns a cost-effective cost effective and substan sustainable advantages um, essential for the future. So the Biovin Evolution is the first company to offer 100% electric and automated trucks, 100% electric and robotic trucks. Um, for the collection of residential residual materials, CETS is already has the Bovin Evolution's operational technologies available. So you got your robot trash trucks and recycled trucks going out there picking stuff up. Um, Eco Village, that's so easier to say. I was struggling with that. So, the NVZN and CETS Eco Village. So, the CETS and the NVZN teams have reached an agreement to form a joint venture with their smart net zero carbon eco village. Um, which it's a project, um, once funded, the NVZN and the CETS will form a new company to help change the world. This net zero carbon eco village project is a closed system waste recycle production facility. Pretty cool. That's what I was talking about, their, uh, their kind of grand plan. Um, 
and this just goes on with their partners. So this is a real word, aerobiotics, not uh, aeronautics, biotics. Aerobiotics brings automated drone monitoring. So like robot drones is a little scary if you have watched term here. And security, um, helping the environment by catching leaks, breaks and issues that can arise from anything from pipeline to chemical plants, which that is cool if it's, you know, uh, with AI or uh, whatever, able to scan, you know, miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers of pipeline that it would take humans um, days, you know, to be able to, to cover. Um, so 90% of the capital raise will be given to companies that uh, the Envision funds, the remaining 10% will go towards administration. Um, some projects are token use only, like the aerobiotics and the garbage truck tracking, um, and others will be joint ventures like the Eco, Eco Village, um, which will use the uh, the Envision token. Um, now the DeFi side of its transactions conducted through the Envision token are completely decentralized, removing human error, manipulation, and corruption. You can't really remove it, but you make it transparent, easy to see. Um, another part of DeFi is data integrity, because you can't mess with it, it's immutable. Uh, Envision provides all-in-one automated DeFi solution, not just for waste, but also to reduce the carbon footprint. Now the tokenomics, supply is 1 billion, DRC20 with the burnable uh, step in there. Um, to raise the demand, lower the supply, uh, 600,000 based on current market value, raise uh, three to four raises per year, 100,000 or no, 100 million total supply going to the architecture team and then 300 million to be held in the treasury for future staking and partners. Then it goes to the, no, so the, uh, they had a token bonus for their IEO, which just ended um, like a day ago, hours ago. Could have got 35%. Um, the team, which went over, that is about it. They have, like I said, plenty of uh, uh, social media there. You can give them a follow over here on NVZN token or just go to the links here at the bottom of this page. That's about it for Envision. I'm trying to get back to the beginning of the page so I can end here. So I'm still Sean, it was good hanging out with you. Check out Envision, looks really cool. I like what they're doing. Um, I think that that second, second, second part, second part of the supply chain that nobody really is looking at, that waste chain is, uh, is something that, that is really just, blockchain is just made for that. Um, and I'm really, I'm really glad to see that they're, that they're going to do something about that on a smaller scale of just basically, you know, recycling and trash all the way through. Um, it's a pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Looks good. I'm looking to be uh, watching this to what they develop and then in uh, the next year or two. I think it's going to be pretty cool. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video.